and we'll get right to it so that we don't take your whole night. And, um, and so, um, so we're recording, I think. Yes. Okay. So welcome everybody to Rise and Shine weekly call. Today is September 19th. And I'm so excited, you guys, because we have a guest speaker tonight, a woman who is amazing. She's awesome. And um, so a little bit about Joan. She's a mom of three. She has two rescue dogs. She's lost 68 pounds, 68 pounds. And not only did she lose it, but like it's holding. So that's, you know, that's really awesome. Her. She prides herself on losing her mind daily. But, you know. <laughs> that was a so private awesome sense of humor. Like her private. energy is just amazing and bubbly and That's effervescent. Her. And like if you're ever in a room with Joan, like you can feel it. Like you can feel her energy. She has a beautiful energy. And I'm just I'm really excited. She's a diamond coach. She's a success, success club legend. And she's just going to share a story with us to um, inspire us tonight. So, all right. So, take it away, Joan. If that's of interest to you, I want to share I don't know where that's coming from. Okay. So, um, okay. So, what am I going to say? Here, here's just like, I guess, what I do. The most important things that I've learned is to be me. And I feel like when I first started this program, um, I was watching Kristen, right? Um, and I didn't start yet, actually. So let's just start there. I didn't even start. I was watching her. And I, I'd see her pop up, and I'm like, wow, she's so awesome. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm good? You can hear me, Devin. Okay. So I was like, wow, Kristen's so awesome. Like, uh, uh, that looks so hard. I don't think I can do it. So, but I watched and I watched for a while and I finally got to the point where I was, my, my highest was probably 240, but I was 228 at the time. Um, and I just said to Glenn, like, you know, if I was single, I would have bought this program yesterday, but I feel like what if I fail and you, and I let you down and I just spent this money and I just feel like, I'm scared to buy another kit of something that I'm, it's just not going to work. And he's like, you should just do it. If you, if you want to do it and you think it's different than everything else, then you should just try it. While. And that's the first thing I'm, and, and to be real and to be me, because that is what's going to attract the people to the group. So people watch a long time. Um, be a product of the product, which, you know, over, it's been two and a half, three years, and I'll say I've had great times, and then I've plummeted here and there, but I always, I have so many people depending on me. me now that it's like ladies I'm, get my boots this is about helping other people it really is about helping myself first because I, I don't know maybe if I didn't become a coach maybe I would have gone back the other way because I feel like when people are asking me questions I need to keep it up and I need to keep going and I, I need to know the next new thing um I remember the first time I posted I was so scared but turned out regular Facebook page instead of in my group and I about had a heart attack and I didn't realize it right away but my phone started like bing. Chrissy was pain and she, in the time I'm freezing. I think I'm freezing. What I do a lot is I invite. So when I post things, I really try to be on the phone. I guess Lindsay that way. I think that's her name. She was saying that today. And that thing, when I post something, I don't ghost and post. I post and I see the first like three or four people that might like it. And I, if they're new people, I will talk to them right away. If they're my people, I might just comment. Um, but I always try to open the door, um, be organized and I track, I'm not perfect at it, but I feel like I track the people that I feel are the most important. I know I'm freezing here and there. Sorry. Um, 
when I go out in the world, um, I bring my shake with me everywhere. I know we all do that. I always have a beach bar in my bag now. Um, I have water all the time and things like that. When I travel, I bring my laptop and I do the workout the best I can in the little gym or in my room and I show that. Um, so I guess I do a lot with those four vital things because then I also recognize people. because yeah, look at me and I get all excited. So I want to give that excitement to other people. Um, I felt like that's something really important. Um, so I feel like, what else did I want to tell you guys? Um, knowing my goal, knowing my products, and really that being that we've been doing those product groups, I feel like that has helped me learn all the products a lot better. I know when I first started, I didn't know what performance line was. I, that was only for big muscly people and it's not. So just learning that and showing that along the way has helped too. And I'm still learning how to, how to share. You know, I think it's, Melanie, I love the way you share on Instagram stories. And that's one of my goals is to learn that. Um, but the two ways that I share the most, one is in a private healthy eating group that I opened up to anybody that wants to learn how to eat healthy. So you don't have to buy something to be in my healthy eating group, but you can't be a coach. Um, you know, I, I weed out anybody that I have groups with, like, um, it, it always comes up like you're in the coach group, clo coach exclusive group. Well, you don't need to be in my healthy eating group, you know, but so I try to get just people that are not in any, um, coach groups and I let them enter. I start the conversation and those are my people that I mostly track. I'll put them into team Z so that I remember to do it. And I do, I put people in team Z, but I usually do all my follow-ups on Friday just because that's how it works with my crazy work schedule now. So that seems to be working for me. Um, unless there's someone that's like, I need this right now, I will give them a few days before I keep following up. Um, but the people that really want it, I'm like, okay, let's do it. I get excited and I stay up late and talk to them all night long. <laughs> I'm guilty. Okay, these are the things I do as a coach um, or I would do as a, as a coach now, looking back, number one, take coach training, get into that team page, um, learn how to Google, learn your coach office, and learn what the FAQs are. Because those FAQs are like my life. You can learn anything and you can post it. Sometimes I post stuff before Team Perseverance. <laughs> it depends. You got to be up on the news. You got to be up on the news. Um, one day I posted something, an hour later, Kristen posted it, and I was like, Wow, I was very proud of myself. <laughs> um, try to get to Emerald quickly as you can. Get the hubby. Try to learn how to do your own challenge group because sooner or later you're going to get pushed out on your own. So be present in the group you're in and ask to have a day um, and really start learning how to do your group. Um, listen to your people that are working with you. Listen to your challengers. Give them value. Give them how to make a recipe. If, if they're near you and they want to meet, great. If you have time to meet for coffee, do it. If you can do a FaceTime and just show them two or three breakfasts to get them started and then they have their shake for lunch, it's a great way to get them on the bus early because if they're not understanding the program and they're trying to ignore it, they're not going to get anywhere. Um, so have a nice little welcome once they jump in and teach them what these containers are. I have to go back to my roots. I had no idea that a red container meant protein. I didn't even know what protein really was. You know, in what can I put in this red container? So remember that. Um, social media, get on it, get good at it. I love word swag and I'm not changing that. I love Facebook right now. I do a little, I do Instagram and I got followers. I did stim, but most of my people still come from my Facebook group and I'm always expanding my network and getting people in there. Um, so that's it. Ignore the critics because there are going to be many. I had a quote for you guys and I left the book somewhere. It's somewhere in my home on the washing machine probably. It's just a great like no one's going to critique. No one, no one can be a critic if you're not doing anything. You've got to be doing something. Let them, let them critique you. Let them say things about you. Um, it's not a big deal. It rolls off. If you're doing something you believe in, then you're good to go. Um, I had lots of my husband's friends. Oh, you're, she's posting again. I said, it's okay. You can unfriend me. <laughs> it won't hurt my feelings. Just unfriend me. And, and they did it. And, you know, a lot of those people have now tried Shakeology. 
Some of them um, have done to be mindset. So I think it was just, they didn't believe that Glenn and I were going to stay on the fitness train and it's been almost three years. Um, but we're on the train. You got to get a thick skin and just do what you feel in your heart. Um, success club. Success Club is about, for me, showing people that it's worth it, um, showing people that um, what you have is worth getting every month, So, and, and that you're gonna be a part of something bigger than just eating. Um, it's really, really important to me right now. My goal is to get Success Club 10 every month, and I think this is gonna be my ninth, ninth, ninth month, because I'm going for the 12 months of Success so SC10. Um, so I'm doing that. And I'm trying LinkedIn. If anyone hasn't tried LinkedIn, it's really easy to make friends and to kind of pick out, you know, I've been picking out a lot of busy people that look like they need to lose some weight um, in one, one time that I go through. And then I'll send them, hey, I, I do these meal plans and it's really fun. And then I've also been looking for people that are looking for jobs because that's, you know, where you're going to find your little, um, some maybe people that are actually looking to be a coach. So I put stuff out. I don't do it often in LinkedIn. That's my like, okay, I have an extra 15 minutes. Let me get on LinkedIn and let me see if anybody, you know, is looking in there. Um, but I did do, I did watch a whole training on LinkedIn and it makes sense. So I'm still working on that one. Maybe that'll be the next big thing, right? We don't know. Um, so I do that. And then... All right, I'm on my last page, I promise. Um, it's worth getting Success Club 10. I didn't realize at first, but it's so worth it because um, if you can get five people a month to jump into a program or even just to sell the bars on, or on auto ship or daily sunshine for somebody for their kids, um, you get leads. And I have to say that the Success Club 5 leads are not as good as the ones that you're going to get when you get Success Club 10. You also have to have um, Beachbody on demand and what else? And you have to be current. So um, in your order, your PV. So those are the three things I think, and it's worth it. I'm so trying to get to Star Diamond because I want the coach leads. Imagine like even once every two months you get a coach lead. That's amazing. That's somebody that took the initiative to sign up and they didn't even have a coach. So, all right. And I never believed in personal development. I was like, that is for the birds. Who has time to do that? I, I dream of myself laying there, reading a book, having a coffee. It ain't happening for me. So I'm all about the audible. Kristen said, just put it on audible. I have dead time when I drive. I don't need to be belting out, you know, a song. I can listen um, a lot of the time to um, personal development. And I just got um, Girl, Wash Your Face because I see all these awesome quotes and I want to steal them all, but I want to know what they mean before I steal them. Um, so I'm, I'm into the personal development. And I guess number one, I left it for last. Number one, be at Summit, do Summit, bring your spouse, bring a friend, be a part of, it's giving me the chills, be a part of what they're offering, be a part of the personal development that they're giving you there. Um, just be a part of it because you don't get that feeling anywhere else. And it's really awesome to have a spouse or a great for like Mel, you guys had your whole team that like had their group photo session. Yes. I was drooling over it. I, I almost just like followed, kept followed and like put myself in there, but uh, <laughs> I didn't have the shirt. So <laughs> um, I, I just, I long for that and I will get there. Um, you know, it's just, it's hard to find other coaches that want to be coaches with you. For me, it's really, um, right now I'm leading lots of people that want to do to be mindset and I have three or four awesome coaches. Um, but they're not me yet. They will be. Teresa's close. I have one girl, Teresa. She is, she's like, she's really fun, but I need like 10 of her to make it double fun. So trying to find your tribe is where I'm at and trying to get myself to start diamonds and I'm close. I'm close. So that's all I have. Oh, and I look at yeah. this every day. Yeah. So, Here's my picture. Thank you so much. I look like, at those this are a some lot. Really... Wow. Yeah, I look at that a lot. And when I'm feeling down on myself or I'm giving, you know, I'm a little too hard on myself. I'm like, who was that? Mm -hmm. This picture was never meant to share. Um, you know, this picture was hidden. And 
even my face, I even look younger. Like, how did that even happen? I just, I mean, I think I look over 50 here and I'm, I'm only like 46 right now. And I feel better now than I did before. So that's all I have. You are beautiful. You are amazing. And we are so grateful that you shared your story with us. You had so many great tips and good nuggets. And I really, really appreciate you taking time out to inspire us. And I know I've been trying to get you for a couple of months. So I know. it's been a train you. wreck here. You almost lost me now. <laughs> a hurricane. Like we just lived through a hurricane, but it, didn't, it went like around us. So we just have flooding right now. And then like my grandmother ends up, I have to call 911 yesterday to get her to the, I'm like, oh my gosh. I was like, this is going to be crazy train, but I'm, it's going to be fine. It's going to be, she's fine. She just needed oxygen. She messed up her medication and she's fine. Um, but oh. yeah, it's crazy. Well, I'm glad she's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad she's okay. Thank and we you. just really appreciate you. We love you and, you know, success leaves clues. And that's why I wanted you to speak to us. And I believe in everything that you wish for yourself because you've got it all. You've got the whole package. So thank you so that much. We really behind you. Behind you? Is that you, this is my yoga studio. Yeah. But you know what? Most importantly, Joan, you have the belief. You believe in this and you believe in these products and you believe in what it's done and how it's changed your life. And I think that that honestly pours through everything that you do, everybody you speak to, every message you send, every post you make right. is just dripping with belief because it doesn't matter what anybody thinks. Like you said, you have a thick skin and you know, people yeah. say, Oh, you're posting again. That's okay. Because I know that yeah. I believe in this because it's worked for me. So yeah. I, I love that. This is going to be my gym. It's a hot mess right now. <laughs> oh, wow. Awesome. It's going to be. Look, all the piles of everything. It's, it's close. You can't tell. There's a big empty space and I'm sitting at a baby table with a big computer. <laughs> Always, but we make it, right? And this is our, my little temporary workstation and it works. So, that's right. Thank you for having me, guys. Thank, thank you so you. much. We owe you a shirt. We'll have to get you one of those trust and believe shirts so you can jump in on our Bye. photo shoot. <laughs> Thanks, Mel. Yeah, get me a shirt. I wanted to be in the photo. I was very yeah. sad. <laughs> Bye. Love you, girl.